Holly and welcome to the Proper Pineapple Podcast episode number seven. Um, for all of my new people, I'm Holly and you can find me all over the interweb at the Proper Pineapple. Um, you can find me on Facebook at the Proper Pineapple. There's even a uh, Proper Pineapple Crochet group on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram at the Proper Pineapple. That's where I am most active. And you can find me on Ravelry as Ms. Proper Pineapple. And there is also a Proper Pineapple um, Ravelry group you can join. So, that's where you can find me online. Just wanted to get all that out for all my new people, for all of my returning subscribers. Thanks for watching again. If by chance a fly goes by, <laughs> please ignore it. For some reason, there's a fly in my house that won't leave me alone. <laughs> Anyways, oh, and if there's a slight fan noise, it's because it's like 100 degrees here today, which is just crazy because it's Michigan, but whatever. So it's super, super hot, so I had to put a fan on me because otherwise I would have been like a big puddle of goo by the time this podcast was over. So, <laughs> okay, now that all the grossness is over, I've got a lot of stuff I want to talk to you guys about, but I'm going to do all of that at the end. I will be announcing the winners of the giveaway at the end of the video the for our Amiguru, or is that right? Amigurumi. Amigurumi. Ne never can say it right. Or Ami. I'm just going to call it Ami. Our Ami Kale that we were hosting that ended on the 15th. So I will announce those winners at the end. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so first let's jump right into finished objects. I have no finished objects. No, I'm just I do. I, um, I have this doll behind me. Can you see her? I'll grab her. I have two dolls, but one has already sold. Oh, I knocked down Oscar's sign. So this doll was the other finished object I have. This is Monica, and she's currently for sale in my Etsy shop, which is linked down below. So check that out if you're interested in Monica. Let me set Monica back. And you guys can't see him, but his little scram sign. Let me see. I'll, I think I could pick him up and show you really quick. There's a lid to his trash can. <laughs> oh, come here, Oscar. Ugh. This was my Amigurumi I entered in my own cow, which of course I couldn't win, but this is the one that I made. He's a big, giant Oscar the Grouch who lives in this amazing trash can that I got at Hobby Lobby that I love so much. He is like my new favorite thing. But anyways, and you can get this pattern on Ravelry and on my um, Etsy store. So again, you can either Etsy or over on Ravelry in my Ravelry shop. <laughs> okay, we're going to set him back up here now. Going to put his lid... I'm going to put his lid on the floor because it's going to make a lot of noise in the middle of this podcast because I'm just sure it will fall because that's my luck, guys. You know how it is. I'm trying to be all professional, realistic. It's hot. There's flies. And my Oscar the Grouch will probably fall. So, okay, so that's it for finished objects. I didn't get much else done because I was working on those dowels and Oscar. But I have lots of whips. So let's jump into whips. First, I'm going to talk about my knitting whip, which I only have one of. Um, it is my hitchhiker shawl, which the pattern, um, I will post a picture right here of the hitchhiker shawl, the pattern. It was gifted to me by my dear friend, which is one of my subscribers, Jen, on my birthday. And I got a little work done. I think I showed you guys last time. And I only had like two or three of the little scaly kind of portions done. So here he is. I got that much done. <laughs> and you're supposed to go until you have, it's an eight row repeat. And you go until you have, I, I want to say 40 or 30 some of these little ridges. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So obviously I've got a little ways to go. But I am using, oh gosh, please excuse this yarn ball. My teeny tiny yarn ball winder, if you saw the review on that, it is not good for big hanks of yarn. So it destroyed this hank pretty much. But this is Malabrego. Oh, there's a piece of my hair on it because why not? Anyways, Malabrego in the color Diana. It's really, really pretty. It's really kind of folly to me. I like it. Kind of reminds me of, um, what is it called? Is it? Is it Indian corn? Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Indian corn, yeah. I, I wanted to say painted corn, and I'm like, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> Indian corn. It's really, really pretty, so I'm looking forward to getting this done. I think I probably won't wear it much till fall time, but it's really, really pretty. I am knitting it on some... The writing on this is ridiculously tiny. Uh, three millimeter 
uh, fixed circular needles. I actually got these at a Goodwill, so I have no idea what brand they are, but they're great. So put that guy in there, off to the side he goes. Um, let's see my next whip. Okay, so I know in the last podcast I showed you I was working on a sweater for my son that was green, made out of some Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I've done nothing on that, so I'm not going to bother showing you that right now because I've done nothing, so there's no point. <laughs> um, my other things I've been working on, one I showed you last time, it was called the Cakes 2 to Tango, and last time I showed you this, I was right here where this little heart is, where my little heart stitch marker, this guy's covered in stitch markers at the moment, and a piece of my hair. <laughs> a little stitch marker here. That's where I was, so I've done all of this, and I'm super, super excited, because I'm going to put it in front of my face for a second. You can see, um, well, let me talk about the yarn first, and then we'll get into, like, what's going on here. I am using, do, 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 I'm sorry if I'm off camera there, two different of the Lion Brand cakes. They're kind of all, like, squished up right now, but the pink one I'm using is called Dream World. And it's from their baby line, but it's the same weight and length as their regular one. And the, um, this one, this blue I'm using, is called Spirit. So I'm using those two cakes at the same time. You do two rows, and then you switch, and then you do two rows. Let me get my hook out to show you what hook I'm using, because that stuff's important. I am using my 5.5 millimeter hook from Touche Crochet. I absolutely love this. Guys, quick rabbit trail about hooks. I originally bought these ones from her because I love this big fat kind of bally handle here and I saw this one and I fell in love with the rainbow on it and I wanted it but I wasn't sure if I was going to like this kind of sloped effect on it I don't know if you guys get that really well um, and so I got it and actually she was so nice and gifted me this she is such a sweetheart I cannot wait to order more hooks from her and just how I'm sitting and I thought this would be my favorite this one's my favorite. I actually really love this. It seems to fit just perfectly in my hand. I'm, I'm a knife style <laughs> crocheter. Some people pencil. And I could see where maybe like these fatter hooks. Well, this one has a good little finger group. But if you're a pencil person, this might not be. The right. Anyways, sorry. I have a trail about hooks. Anyway, so I'm using my 5.5 millimeter with that. And as you can see here, so the pink cake started here in purple. Is that the back of it? No, that's the front. This yarn's in the wrong side. Okay. The pink cake started with purple, and the dark blue cake started with a really, really dark navy, almost black. And then as they faded, sorry, I'm going to go this way so that not as many stitch markers are jingling on the table. Okay. So purple faded into dark gray, and then into light gray, and is now finally coming into pink, which I'm so excited about. And the blue cake went from a dark, dark, almost black, to a navy, to, I don't know if you guys can pick up that turquoisey color here. It's really turquoisey, and then it goes on to this bright, bright blue one, and then now it's going back to the dark. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this blue stripe and the pink. I cannot wait, cannot wait to get more of the pink in this. I think I'm going to be so in love with it when it's finished. You guys know hot pink is my color. I have a couple of stitch markers on it that are pretty cool. This is a uh, green lantern <laughs> stitch marker. I keep that in the center of the point because the pattern um, is so easy that sometimes you could forget. If you guys have ever worked a triangle shawl, sometimes you know you'll blow right past your little center one. So I keep one there. And then over here is one of my all-time favorite stitch markers in my holding my loop I'm working on. It says, not my circus, not my monkeys. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> but um, the pattern for this I found on Ravelry, so I got some tails there. And it's, okay, at first it was a little hard, but that was my fault, not the pattern's fault. My fault was, is would I work with this um, Lion Brand Mandala yarn? I usually use a small hook because it's smaller yarn, but it calls for a, I think it says a five, maybe a 5.5, 5, 5, calls for a five millimeter. And I didn't do it at first and my holes, because basically what you're doing is um, a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one sort of thing. And you crochet in the, when you come back through, you single crochet in your, <laughs> my, my little guy apparently wants somebody to come outside and play. <laughs> Sorry. 
but you you single crochet in the chain one space from the previous row that's all it is it's really simple and like i said you just go you go down and back and then you switch colors down and back and you just carry all along your top edge you can barely tell i just carried my floats right along make sure to keep them nice and loose so you still got a stretchy shawl but i really love this pattern once i caved and used a bigger hook I mean, it was super easy, and the best part is it's kind of like a mindless crochet. I could be watching TV and do this. I, the kids could be yickety-yacking in my ear, which happens all the time, and I can crochet because since I put that center one, I just go until I hit my stitch marker, do my center piece, and then go until I hit a corner. It's super, super easy. I love this. I would recommend this pattern. I would. It's really, really fun, and you can look at the cool, like, different effects I'm getting here with the colors. I so, so love it. I cannot wait to get the hot pink in there and more of the bright blue. You see, I've got more bright blue in here and more hot pink. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. On a quick side note, I am not, I'm, I'm not a super picky person when I'm, you know, I understand that, you know, big box brands, their yarn is manufactured in large quantities and sometimes you're going to end up with an end in the middle of your project. I totally get that. But sometimes it's a bit ridiculous, okay? So I'm crocheting along with, it's just this blue cake. <laughs> just this one. This one, I haven't had a single end. And like I said, I'm not too picky. I'm not going to be like, oh, there's an end. I can't use it. No, no, no. I'm fine. This cake here, I'm not even done, guys. Not even done. I'm about halfway through the cake. And do you know how many ends there was in this? Seven seven ends in this one cake and I'm not even done I'm not confident that there's not going to be more ends in here because every single striping of the blue when it went into a different color had at least two and it. it was just ridiculous the amount of ends in this one cake and I just find that to be I think that's a bit excessive I mean two I can't I could even go three I'm not you know seven Is, has anybody else got seven ends seven okay that's enough rant seven <laughs> okay and last time i was on i think i told you guys this is my next whip and i'm excited about this whip i told you guys i was going to start the wonder woman shawl and i did i am not very far let me pull you over here it's gonna be hard to show you guys i have done about three oh it's all caught on the yarn hold on about three of the sections it's kind of broken up into a sections so let me Kind of, so it's, you can't see the little V. There, there we go. That's kind of weird, but that's basically it so far. This is the bottom. So first you work um, this big kind of shape, kind of U shape almost. That's the first section. Then the second section, you go and you do a bunch of these short rows to make your center of your W. And then you come across with your yellow color. Um, and that's where I'm at right now. I'm about halfway through the yellow color. This pattern, super easy. Um, I wouldn't say it's written bad. It's not because it's written very clearly and you can read it. I I don't know if it's the font or how closely every. I don't think it was spaced out very well as far as like, you know, from like row one to row two, like everything to me. And again, it might just be me. Sometimes, you know, I'm crazy. And when I look at the way things are typed up if it's just not right it looks a little weird to me so at first I struggled a little because it seems there's a lot in each row there's a lot you have to do you have to count because you have to go across this section and then you have to stop and go across this section and then you have to skip and go across this section and th so there's a lot going on and I feel like the writing was really kind of jumbled together but like I said it's me not the pattern the pattern is written great she you know it's all broke down step by step and it's beautiful and I'm loving how this is turning out. I am doing, using, um, so this kind of goldeny yellow here by um, Loops and Threads called their Wool-like. I'm using that and a red. So you guys will know I had originally bought the red in store and a couple other colors, but I, I wanted the yellow. And I ordered it online and it looked yellow, which is what I wanted. And what I got is more of a golden rod. And at first I was really mad these because I was like that's not gonna work it's not what I want so these yarns have been sitting on my shelf for a month or two okay sorry for the skip here in the video <laughs> uh, had a little camera difficulties but back to what I was saying was 
it grew on me after a while and I really love how it's looking together. I think it's going to be really kind of folly and I, I really, really love that. Um, now, as far as this wool light, uh, it is incredibly soft. I really, for a big box brand store yarn, really, really soft, really fluffy. Like it's fluffy and you get a lot for your money. It was like $2.99 for the skein and hold on, let me grab another one I have in black because I don't have the ball band on this. Um, you get 678 yards. That is a lot of yarn for $2.99. Love it. And I'm loving how this is working up. I hope to get it done. Like I said, the little be there soon. It'll just get bigger. I'm doing, there's two different sizes in this pattern. There's the Wii and the Wondrous. I'm doing the Wondrous because I figured if I'm going to do a Wonder Woman shawl, I'm going to like, here, I could put it here. You can see it. There we go. <laughs> can you see it now? Does it look good? Camera guy, can, is it on camera? See, there we go. Sometimes I need a nod and he doesn't listen. Anyways, <laughs> um, I wanted it big. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, and quick, I went ahead. So I had made some Batman stitch markers because Batman forever. But anyways, <laughs> but, but I was like, I can't put Batman on my Wonder Woman shawl. So I went back to Hobby Lobby and got this little charm here. And it's my Wonder Woman. Is it focusing on it? Okay, good. Wonder Woman shawl. On the back of it says... What I do, I do freely and without, with a clear conscience, which I really love. So, oh, and I am using my D hook from Touche Crochet for that. I absolutely love her hooks. I, I don't know how many times in this video I can plug Touche Crochet, but go over there, get a hook. They're great. <laughs> um, and my other whip um, is, I'm going to talk about that now. I was contacted by Lacey of the Hooked on Owls podcast who is just awesome. If you haven't seen her podcast, go over, check it out. I have been like binge watching, catching up on it because when I started my podcast, there was only like one or two channels I watched. And then after a while now, I've just been kind of like trying to find channels and I keep finding all these amazing channels. And so I've been binge watching hers to get caught up. It's great. Go check her out. Um, and she had designed a shawl called the Kelsey shawl and it works with Mandala yarn. So let me grab out my mandala. I am, of course, using mm -hmm, the rainbow one for this. Uh, it's the gnome colorway. And you guys know that, you know, besides hot pink, rainbow's right up there in the favorite colors, right? And I've started it. I've made it through the first section of, like, the repeat. And then there's, like, this little, like, kind of holy section. And then you kind of repeat. It's a irregular triangle shawl. Let me, there. So there's what I've got so far. I love it. It's super, super uh, easy, and it's. I would definitely recommend this to people. If you haven't made a shawl before, this one would be super great to start with. And it's really pretty. I'm liking this. I can't wait to get more colors going in it and get working on it more. So she contacted me, and she gifted me the Kelsey pattern. I'm going to put a picture right here, going to side to side so you can see the Kelsey pattern right there. And I was so grateful, obviously. And she also gifted me two of her Kelsey patterns to give to you guys, which are going in the prize pack for the winners of the Ami Guru. <laughs> Make a kind. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm killing that word. Mm -hmm. And I do so much of it, you would think I could nail it. But no, anyways, our crochet along we had that just ended. So in a minute, I will announce those winners. Those winners are getting um, the Kelsey pattern for themselves too, thanks to Lacey over at the Hooked on Owls podcast. So, like I said, head over, check her out. Tell her that Holly from the Proper Pineapple sent you guys. Okay, so now let's talk about the giveaway for um, our cal that we were running, the Ami cal. I'm going to call it Ami, guys. I'm going to stop trying to pronounce it. I'm just going to call it Ami. So, I picked two winners, and like I said, first off, both my winners are going to receive a free Kelsey pattern from... Lacey at the Hooked on Owls podcast, and I'll, I'm going to email her as soon as I'm done filming this and let her know who won, and she will just send you your pattern on Ravelry. It's it's a really great pattern, and I love it, so you guys are going to love it. And I forgot to show you guys um, the hook I'm using. <laughs> I actually don't have a 5 millimeter in one of my, there's a little fly, I'm sorry, <laughs> in one of my nice hooks, so I had to use just one of these little rubber handle ones, so I got to I got to get over to Touche Crochet myself and get a five millimeter. So really easy, basic. Oh, it's really, really, really pretty. It's going to turn out gorgeous. So I can't wait to get that finished. And I hope you guys like it too. 
um, our other prizes because I couldn't just, you know, give you the pattern. I had already told you I was getting prizes. So, um, should I show my prizes? No, I'm going to show I'm going to tell you my winners and then show you my prizes. Okay. So winners first, prizes second. <laughs> All right. So the first winner is, um, her name is Whitson Angela. And I'm going to put that right down here. Whitson Angela on Ravelry. Congratulations. You're getting a Kelsey pattern from Lacey on the Hooked on Pot hooked on owls podcast you are also getting for me one of the new lion brand cupcake yarns isn't this pretty in the color balloons i love the color balloons i'm gonna go back and get me a couple i have a pattern i want to do and i think balloons will be perfect for it. but anyways this one's for you <laughs> so this one's yours with whitson angela i think i'm sorry if i'm saying that wrong you get this and then uh, I thought I'd get you guys a book on Ami and they had another one of these books said Joanne So this one goes to you This is so cute so adorable So you get these two prizes that I will be mailing to you and then like I said Lacey on the hooked on owls podcast will just send you your pattern right on Ravelry so just get a hold of me on Ravelry or on Instagram or on Facebook or whatever. Let me know it's you and give me your address and I'm going to get this shipped right out to you. Okay, so yay, congratulations. And our second winner, I don't know personally but have talked to and I was super excited she won. Again, these were all just random picks was the Cat Crazy Creations. I love her podcast. Um, I'm catching up on that one too. She's so sweet and I'm so glad she won. So you too are also getting a Kelsey pattern. And you're getting, again, one of the cupcakes in this lovely color. This color is called Pot of Gold, which I love. So, so cute. It's like greens and blues, really, a little yellowy, I guess. I don't think so, but the picture on the side shows yellow. Anyways, really pretty, either way. <laughs> and I got you a book on Ami. I got you this one, this Ami Groomy pets i thought this was so adorable look at the cute little kitty and the piggy and the teeny weeny mouse i think it's a mouse it looks like a mouse it's so cute so i thought this would be right up your alley and i hope you guys enjoy your and like um cat crazy creations please just get a hold of me on ravelry or email or facebook or instagram any of the places you want to get a hold of me at give me your address i'll get these out to you okay so that's our giveaway congratulations to my two winners um, as far as cows go, I am not doing anything right now because it's like the last two weeks of June. But starting in July, I had to look at the calendar. <laughs> starting in July, I am going to do a um, Christmas in July cow. And that's going to be super fun. Basically, to enter the cow, all you have to do is enter something that you made for somebody for Christmas. And we're going to, I'm going to pick two winners. But this time, this cow is going to run a little different. There's going to be the Ravelry cow, obviously, where you can post your finished objects there. And I will be picking a winner from that thread. And then there is going to be an Instagram one because we're going to use the hashtag TPP Christmas in July, which is the proper pineapple Christmas in July. It's right down here, guys. I put the hashtag here. So anybody who uses that hashtag in July with their pictures of the things that they're doing, all you have to do is use the hashtag and say in your thing um, that it's a Christmas gift for somebody. You don't have to say who because I know that person might be on there, but you can just hashtag me there. And so I'll be picking a winner from Instagram and a winner from Ravelry. So that will be really, really great. And again, on Instagram, the proper pineapple. And on Ravelry, I'm Ms. Proper Pineapple. And there is a proper pineapple group. <laughs> so that's where you can find me. Uh, and that's it for Cal's right now. I'll talk more about the Christmas in July Cal in a week or so. Um, I want to talk about mail, yarn mail. I got some lovely mail from people. I got a letter from um, Heidi Johnson in Indiana, and she was super, super sweet. She wrote me a nice little letter because you guys, if you know, I uh, this well, we'll kind of talk about it now too. Anyways, <laughs> my health, I was not feeling very well for a while. I'm feeling much better now. I'm back to almost my old self. I'm super excited. So thank you for your lovely card. I really, really appreciate that. I also got a, a lovely get well card from, I'm going to have to pull it out because there's no name on the envelope and I need to remember your name. Jean, Jean in South Carolina. And look at how adorable this card is. Isn't this so cute? And this little picture, like you could take it out if you want, but 
I don't. I want to keep it how it is. So thank you, both of you guys. I love, thank you so much for caring to send me a Get Well card. I very much appreciate it. Uh, and about a week ago, I got a package. Yeah, package. <laughs> from Cindy Marsh in New York. New York, which we're going to talk about New York in a minute. She sent me a package, and I am so in love. I can't wait to show you guys. So let me slide it out of the envelope. First off, it's this lovely pineapple, like, lunch bag. I absolutely love this. I will probably use this for yarn, not my lunch, because it's too pretty. <laughs> but it'd be a perfect little tote. I, I adore this. Isn't this so cute? Oh, Cindy, you know me. And then on the inside, she filled it with some goodies. And I can't wait to share these with you. So, of course, she sent me a card, too. And I read it, and I love it. And it will go in my pile of letters and cards. So, she sent this adorable pineapple ice cube tray or you can do ice cube you can do a lot of stuff with these things these little like uh silicone molds so she sent me one of those love it can't wait to use that oh she sent me this little it's a little pineapple change purse how cute is it it's so adorable and on the inside which she just packed stuff everywhere so on the inside a pineapple bottle opener so cute right I haven't seen like a pop with a, a what do they call that? Cat? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> In so long, but if I ever find one, I'm there. <laughs> so thank you. And then I think, I think just this, well, this, and it has stuff in it. This little pineapple clutch kind of little, little baggie here, which it's got like this great big handle with a zipper on it, which I love. And on the inside in here, this was the stuff that was like crazy. So for, Sorry, apparently somebody's writing me. <laughs> little pineapple clips, which I love. I love little clips to clip stuff too. And these are pineapples. Look. <laughs> and then she sent me an H notepad. I love notepads, guys. And it's an H for Holly. <laughs> and then I think, okay, I can't respond, people. I'm doing a podcast. I think there was only one more thing, but I feel like, okay, yes. But is there something in it? Hold on before I show you guys. No. Okay, so she put Handmade by Cindy Marsh and she made this amazing, can you guys see this? Oh, little change purse. Look at the pearls. I love pearls. Look, it goes in my outfit. I love it. It's so pretty. I want to use it and put it in my purse, but I'm also like super, super afraid I'll damage it. So I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it is so gorgeous. Look at that work, guys. That had to take forever. So, so pretty. Thank you so much, Cindy, for all of this. You didn't have to do any of it. And I appreciate every single thing. I'm going to use it all. And I save all the letters to you guys, so don't worry. I love them. Um, that is it for my, like, acquisition, kind of what I bought, because I haven't really bought much. Oh, I did buy one thing I thought I would never buy. <laughs> and my husband was like, I can't believe you're buying that, Holly. It's a skein of yarn. It's a Red Heart Super Saver in the color Americana. Look at this guy. <laughs> and not that I'm not patriotic. I love a good red, white, and blue. Anything. But this one just seemed like a little in your face. And my husband was like, I can't believe you are buying that. But I bought this for my July doll. I'm not going to like hide it or secret or nothing. We're doing, we're going all American, baby. For 4th of July. Red, white, and blue. Isn't that going to be fun? And this one isn't their traditional kind of just red, white, and blue speckly everywhere. It actually kind of does almost like a fair aisle if you knit with it. I'm gonna crochet with it, but it'll still do kind of the same thing, give you that red, white, and blue effect. So super excited about that one, but that's pretty much all I've bought recently and or gotten in the mail. Um, I'm checking my thing, talked about my health. Okay, so I wanna talk about, we're gonna do another live, live craft night on Monday, the 25th. My calendar's right there and I still can't read it. Anyways, the 25th is going to be our live knit, uh, knit night live craft night so six o'clock michigan time be there hang out with me it'll be tons of fun um and then the other thing i want to talk to you about is i'm going i'm leaving to go to new york at the end of the month on the 29th and i'm going to be i'm gonna be in new york for like 10 days or something and in my last live um craft night we had talked about doing a meetup and I was debating between doing a meetup in Buffalo and one in Albany because I'm going to be over near Albany. I'm going all the way across over toward, toward um, 
where Fonda is, so it's closer to Albany. And a lot of people expressed that they wanted to meet up in Buffalo in the live um, night. But, um, and I had said, please email me or message me and let me know so I can, I can make plans to meet on the 29th. We were going to meet the 29th that Friday at like lunchtime in Buffalo and hang out for a little bit and just crochet and chat. Uh, we were, I was going to pick a, like a coffee place or something. I hadn't decided yet, but nobody has contacted me about Buffalo. So at the moment, I guess I'm not planning to stop in Buffalo. I have had one person contact me about meeting up in Albany on the 30th, that Saturday afternoon. So I am still going to do that. If there's any, sorry, there's a fly. Oh my goodness. So obnoxious. If anybody wants to meet in Albany, just contact me, let me know so I can try to get a head count, figure out where's the best place to meet, hang out for a little bit. If anybody wants to meet up in Buffalo, just get a hold of me, let me know so that I can um, pick somewhere. And, and it actually, if you know of a good like place to just stop and hang out where we can sit and chit chat for a while, let me know that too, okay? And I think that's about it I have to talk about today. Covered my live night, covered how my health is doing. I'm feeling much, much better. Talked about our winners. I am just, I'm sitting here staring at this cake of yarn <laughs> that our lovely winner won. Oh, and I, I can't decide what I love more, the color or the name balloons because it's magical. But anyways, I'm sorry. I keep staring at that. And I hope to get um, some more patterns written up. I am definitely working on the pattern for the doll, guys. Okay, I have not forgotten about it. There's just been a lot going on in my life with my health issues. And then, you know, I've got, you know, kids and we homeschool and, you know, and then the hubby wants me to talk to him on occasion. So it's just, just a lot going on. But I am hoping to get that released by the middle of July. And hopefully by the end of July, we will have the spines and the feet released too, which we're working on those. Those are patent pending and we're working on getting those out for you guys too. But I am working on other patterns. I have I have a hat pattern I'm working on. There's a couple of shawl patterns I want to write up for you guys. I'm super excited to get my creative juices flowing and make stuff. Maybe I should make something with this. Mm. I love this. Not this one, because this one belongs to our winner. <laughs> See, now my husband's dropping stuff. So unprofessional. Gosh. No, I'm kidding. That's fine. That's... <laughs> If things didn't go weird on my videos, I would be like, what? What am I, like one of those professionals? No. Anyways, guys. So, like always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to get a hold of me, I told you all the places where you can find me. Or you can also email at thepropertineapple at gmail. That's where to find me there. And always, leave comments down below. I do read all of them. Actually, that is not true. I do not read them all. My husband reads most of them, and I read the other half of them. So I want to be honest with you guys. Half me, half him. But somebody in this house reads your comment and then relays it to me because he just can't sit and wait for me to do it. He has to do it. <laughs> Control freak. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's not. He's a helper. He helps me so I can work. But anyways, we do read your comments, and we try to get back to you. So go ahead and leave comments. And I guess I will see you guys later. Don't forget about live craft night on the 25th. Bye.